Alright, so we've executed both of the commands and now the port is actually open on the one side for communication and we're able to remote desktop into our local machine. Now what we're gonna do is run the stop command which is the exact opposite of what we've just done. This uh, command is going to actually delete and remove both of the, the rules that we've just created in order to close the port behind us. I'm going to copy and paste this command and again this shebang and in the firewall delete the, the switch uh, the switch rule and in the firewall delete the, the allow rule and turn off the lamps we don't need the lamps to, to stay on if the rule is actually not working alright moving on here the next step is uh, is file permissions and uh, we're gonna discuss this a little bit because if the file is uh, is not in this color it's not green if it uh, if it doesn't have uh, you know read write execute 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 if it, if it doesn't have the execute um, attribute let's go, go over there and see that you see that the, the files are gray and if I look at their um, their attributes, they they don't have execute on them. They have read, they have write, and not for all groups and all that. But uh, they're they're not executable. So uh, even if uh, if I do all the configurations correctly, they're not gonna run because they don't have the the execute the attribute, which is the, sort of like a, uh, the quote unquote permissions in uh, in Windows. And I'm just giving the correct permissions, the execute permissions. The, there's no need to give them uh, all the permissions like read and write, uh, just the execute bit is enough. Alright, now moving on, we're gonna edit the configuration file in order to reflect our uh, specific configuration here. What we have here is the sequence. When I talked before about uh, hitting this, uh, this uh, port once and this port three times and this port uh, and so on and so forth, what I'm actually talking about is, is this. I'm talking about this, this is the sequence. Now, as you can see, I've write, written down uh, port 80 three times and port 25 three times. Everything here is, is three times because the actual tool that I'm going to use, it's going to sound stupid, but I'm using Telnet. The, 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 the plain old vanilla Telnet, from it's, a, it's a, uh, the most common, the most basic utility is going to be present in any, any, any operating system from uh, from DOS to to Linux to to Windows to Vista, it's gonna be there. So that's what I why I use it now. You say wh then if you're using Telnet, then, then why three times? You just you know the Telnet www Google and com, and uh, and you're like saying the port uh, which is like let's say 25. I'm, let's say that oh, you know what I'm beginning with 80. So port port 80. Why three times? Because if Telnet, for some reason, and let's say not, not port 8 because port 8 is actually going to work on Google, but po port 800. If Telnet is unable to complete the communication, it's going to try two more times. Therefore, if you count the first time and the two other unsuccessful times, that's three knocking sequence from one command. So while editing the configuration file and uh, creating the sequence that will open the safe, you need to keep that in mind. Now, you can notice that that what I've done here, as uh, as opposed to to logic, I'm going down in the ports. Why am I going down the ports? By the way, I can I can like dance around with them. I can uh, I'm I can do the port 80, then I can uh, hit uh, um, 21, 21, and then 25, 25, 25. Why am I doing this? Because why am I not just uh, doing 21, 25, 80? Because Port scanners usually go from the, the lower number to the upper number, so it's best to avoid it. And just to illustrate, if someone's sitting here on the internet and is port scanning you on your uh, one interface, going uh, from the bottom here to, to all the way up, and in the meantime is accidentally triggering your sequence, then you haven't done anything. So what I'm saying is, Pick a sequence that's random. Don't pick a sequence that, that's gonna be easy to, to accidentally trigger. 
If you want to make the sequence part even more secure, you should check out the documentation. There are some excellent methods there to make it even more secure than this.